Taking note of some of the strange and wonderful designs that have been etched onto field jackets and fatigues, the War Department has directed that the practice be discontinued immediately. War Department, 1944. From its inception in the air of the open cockpits and silk scarves until today, the leather A2 flight jacket remains the iconic emblem of the romance of aviation, as well as a pop culture icon today. A symbol of status, a record of accomplishments, and a visible expression of the pride in your unit, crew, and aircraft. The A-2 has been a treasured possession of aviators since its introduction in 1931. During the Second World War, the United States Army Air Force issued A-2 flight jackets to its pilots and air crews after the successful completion of flight training. The brown leather jackets, often adorned with bright, colorful, and frequently risque unit insignia and affectionately hand-painted depictions of aircraft nose art, served as a public statement of courage, recording the numbers of missions flown and enemy fighters destroyed. Discontinued late in the war, leather A2 jackets were replaced by more practical cloth examples. Perhaps in an acknowledgement to their place in aviation history and a nod to esprit de corps, the United States Air Force began reissuing the leather A2 flight jackets in 1988, a practice that continues to this day. When a dodo becomes a bird man, he soon leaves the scene of his preliminary training and reports at one of the Army's basic training schools. This one is March Field. Here the men learn to fly faster and bigger ships. And you can bet they're plenty thrilled the first time they taxi one of these new pursuit jobs down the field. Painted in somber camouflage, these single-seaters are designed for lightning maneuverability and mount two machine guns which fire through the propeller.
from Dodo to Army Birdman, but the young men of America, tens of thousands of them, are making it every day, all working for the same guy, Uncle Sam, all partners in this great business of flying for the Army. All hail to these mighty birds of the Army Air Corps and to the men who fly them. Wings of steel, watchful sentinels in the sky, standing forever guardians of our Bill of Rights.